Welcome to Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. Today's program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table. Now here's chef and host of the show, Abby J, to introduce her special guest for today's show. Welcome to Field of Work, and I'm with one of my favorite, favorite so people, <laughs> Melissa Level. She is a director of marketing and editorial director as well for Ingalls Markets, and she's responsible for the Ingalls Table. This one of many people responsible for I the Ingalls Table, including but, you, I know, right? But, but, but you founded this yes. in uh -huh. 2015. I was one of the first you contributors, were? and I love it. You were the very first contributor, and I will tell you I did it because it's not just a magazine, but it also has the corresponding video videos that if you go to our website you can click on uh, go to the little Ingalls table um, uh, icon on our website and you can click on there and they're cook along videos they're not like a little tasty where everything you know goes really really fast you can actually have someone in your kitchen cooking with someone. so Abby's in my kitchen because I can't cook but having Abby in my kitchen <laughs> makes it so I can do things that I could never do well you know so my fishermen have now they come fish with me and say, where's my magazine? Oh, that's where's awesome. my magazine? That's awesome. So we've got something going and it continues to get better and better with all the, the talent. I love all the different people that you really get engaged with. Very diverse with the, group. Yeah, mm -hmm. very, very diverse, diverse styles group. of food because, you know, I, I like to entertain a lot. So a lot right. of my mm -hmm. cooking is about entertaining. Entertaining or, and grabbing the, the attention of everybody and doing it a little bit more easy right. to get. And these are, we have people that are grill masters. Michael. Michael. Michael's a vegetarian and he's Vegan. all. Yeah. Everything. But I mean, you, you can go through and you can find something that fits your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It also fits your ability level, you know, to be able to do. That's the beauty of it. And even if you feel a little intimidated by looking at the magazine, when you go to the video and visit our website, go to the video, you really are right in the kitchen because it is a cook along video. It's not right. like tasty, but everything. Oh my God, I missed that. I have to go back <laughs> because I don't think that fast either. So right. uh, this is really great. It's just, it really is was created for people like me. Pump chefs. And, I mean, right, right. Actually, and well, I'm not, but you are. But it's created for totally. people that want to do, go to that extra level and do that. And and this particular issue is really special because not only is it our fall um, issue of the English table, but also it kind of gives you a little bit more of an opportunity to go at various price levels too. Right. Okay. This one was extending a budget, right. and that's what mm -hmm. we cooked. Uh, we we I've got some Tex-Mex meatballs. I'm going to show uh, you how to do these and extend that to another meal, right. which will save time. It will save money and right. also create you know meals throughout the week, exactly. I, like the meatloaf. Make three or yeah. make two, and that is only, or what what you can do with leftovers, or if you get one piece of meat, do you have to use it all for one dish, yeah. or you can break like it up? So one. right, Joe exactly. Lasher meatloaf I love because I like cooking a lot of meat like whether it be chicken right. meatloaf At whatever I could turn this into quesadillas he turned it into a sandwich right. but that's mm -hmm. that's my way of cooking right. a lot of things and I right. love cooking meat and I thought this was really good and it's all about a, a cut of meat that you can afford, okay? Mm. And at Ingalls, every cut of meat is amazing because it's all USDA choice or prime, never anything less. Nothing is ever prepackaged. Everything, including our ground beef, is ground in the store five times a day. So you're getting a great quality, but it's a little bit more affordable to do that cut of beef, the ground beef, or ground sirloin, whichever you decide to do. Right. And then you also have your sandwiches. So you're extending it, but you're also using items that are more affordable. And I think all of the chefs have really been incorporating in their recipes, like the bakery, the right. cheese department, the mm -hmm. olives, all the many things that you may not realize that to we keep have. It simple, yeah, to right? keep it very simple, easy, save time. And that's what this magazine's all about. Right. I, I just mm -hmm. love the way we put this together. For example, if you want to start off with something, if you want to do a, you know, a deviled egg, okay, you don't have to go and do that whole boiling and everything. You can buy the eggs at Ingles, Ingles. already boiled and then you can cut them and they're perfectly ready to go and then you make the devil eggs or you can do an appetizer that way. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to stop by the the world cheese shop and buy your olive board, you can do a beautiful cheese spread, cheese and olive board on your mm -hmm. own. And there's all sorts of recipes 
and ideas in here as well. And, and if you don't want to go in the store, we got curbside service. That's right. Yes. And it's finally in Georgia. <laughs> yes. We finally have it in Clarksville, Georgia as well. So yeah, it's really great. We've been we've been rolling that out a little mm -hmm. bit slowly, um, but it is everywhere and it's such a wonderful and the thing about our curbside service uh, is that the people that are pulling the items for you are people that work at our store. Okay, yeah. they're accountable for the items. For when you're going to know them, you're going to see them. They're going to come out and deliver it for you, and they're handpicking your items for you. Okay, and that's better than having a service that might be bringing it to your door, or even a service that comes in and does it. These are Ingalls people who knows the Ingalls store, who knows the freshness, and everything is kept fresh, no matter right. what time you keep. You want to pick up your order. So you can order in the morning. You know, everything's going to pick to the right time, and then it's going to be kept fresh. You're going to get the best of everything delivered right to your car. And the best thing about this, this is free. Free it copies. Is free. <laughs> and it is free. And it's available at your deli, or sometimes at the front of the store, also mm -hmm. at our ad, ad table. If you can't find it, just ask the store manager. They'll be able to tell you there's numerous different places mm -hmm. that we're putting it. It's becoming very popular. So... Um, get there soon because they're just out this new one is just right out. and it's got all the other things about the fall season the mums right. all the different things uh, I, I, there's a Halloween section right. full of candy I have this beautiful pan that and I'm going right. to uh, there's so many things Things. I mean, but there's a, even like a little, I think there's like a candy pizza or something in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 uh, that was really it, cool. It is, yeah, it's the caramel, app, caramel apple nachos. I mean, think about that. I mean, love that. I mean, what a great idea. And you know what? People love caramel apples, you know, and, mm -hmm. the, and apples are so much in season, particularly in our markets. Right. Right. Okay. Where the, and where our home base is, that's the home of the apple. Okay. So exactly. we know we grow a lot of And so this is a great new way to enjoy it and get your kids involved with it. Exactly. I saw them put that together and I'm like, well, you could do it this way, that way. There's a, a million ways to make those nachos. Or a great way to use a fruit like a fig that you maybe have never thought about doing or might be intimidated by. You show us how to do that. You show us how to make exactly. those together and put it. And so it's just a way to bring food to life. Exactly. Okay. For everyone at any kind of skill level, any kind of price level, and then also you stay with us. You stay with us mm -hmm. in our kitchen while we do it. So you just prop up your phone or your i, your your laptop or your iPad, mm -hmm. and just prop it up. And that's literally you can stop it and start it. But it's a full length, chop, slice, dice. And there's some great tips in there too. Also, you can go to the tip section. Right. The Leah's got a lot of the tips about spices, all the different mm -hmm. things. A pumpkin, pumpkin, right. cinnamon, mm -hmm. all these different things. Even beer. I read right, that. Right, you know, <laughs> what a collection right. of all the different things to tailgate with. Oh my God! <laughs> and you know what I mean? It's such, a, it's such a big deal. People really are trying yes. to elevate. It's no longer just about you know sandwiches. You know, oh, and telling, oh, I mean, people oh. do complete, complete spreads and you know all of that stuff. I mean, I'm a former NFL cheerleader. I've been been around for a long time. Tailgating has always been at the next level. And me. no matter yeah. what team you're pulling for, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ingles supports all the teams and I support Ingles for having all the things I need to make all the delicious right, right, appetizers right. that I make for all of my people That's here. That's right. You know, yeah. and it's just a, it's a wonderful, even from high school football on, you know, mm -hmm. for high school football, the great thing about Ingles is that you can swing by on a Friday night and pick up a rotisserie chicken mm -hmm. and a home meal and get ready to go so you're you're turning around and making sure that you're back at your, your child's game right in time and the family's all ready to go or if you're on your way in the morning for something having to do with high school, you can stop and pick up some of the great new donuts. I don't know if you've seen her. Oh, I've seen that and all the cheeses. That, that, yeah, you, 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 they get more and more elaborate with every section, right. especially the holiday sections of right. the store. Don't miss those because right. I did not go by there without getting that yeah. pan. <laughs> I said I had to have it. This is our fall issue, but you can expect mm -hmm. a full from November 1st all the way through the December 31st. Mm -hmm. We have a full holiday edition. It's nothing but holiday coming out. Mm -hmm. So you'll be looking for that. They'll be on the shelf simultaneously. So you'll be able to still continue with the regular meals and all right. the rental wonderful fall and autumnal things, but you can also really concentrate on those holiday 
events and meals. And if you're working on a budget, this is the issue to get right. pick mm -hmm. up. And yeah. Melissa, you've done an outstanding job. Thank you so, so much. Little, you know what? This was our found, one of our founding chefs. And I got to tell you, it is never an Ingalls table without you in it. And so we are so excited that you're continuing. We're starting another year with it. It's so incredible. Bigger and better things and more of you. Well, you know what, <laughs> Melissa? I, I really love it. Y'all, the Ingalls family is part of my family. And without you, you know, I, I look forward to it. And, yeah, and all the people that we've put in this magazine and all the friendships, yeah. everything. We've had all these Ingalls We're chefs here and all these Ingalls here. And I keep going, I want to come up, I want to go. It has been way too long. It is so exciting. This made my fall to come up and to be here with you. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Love you. I love, love you. you. <laughs> and we'll, you know, thank you for coming and go get yours. <laughs> and cook. Don't be afraid. All right. We'll be right back. It's time to discover the convenience and time savings of contact-free pickup with Ingalls Curbside. Just visit shop.ingles-markets.com or download the app. And your Ingalls personal shopper gets to work with specialized training on how to select the freshest items for a pre-scheduled pickup. They'll even text you with updates. You pull up to a designated space and your personal shopper delivers your items right to your vehicle. Fresh, fast, and affordable. It's all in the bag. Ingalls, low prices, love the savings. Welcome back to Field of Fork, and I've got so much wonderful deliciousness to show you today. And I'm making my Tex-Mex meatballs that were featured in the fall edition of the Ingalls Table. You can find the recipe here, but I'm going to show you how easy this uh, recipe is. You get one pound of Springer Mountain Chicken. You get some breadcrumbs, about a half a cup. We've got some uh, hatched chilies. You want to drain the water off those. And I've mixed some chili powder, garlic, cumin, salt and pepper together here. And then one egg, one egg here, and some diced onions and some sweet pepper for a little color. And all we're going to do is mix these ingredients. And uh, this, this is so easy. And for game day, we've got a lot of tailgating going on. And that's what's in season is tailgating. And I want to show you how easy this is to put together. This makes about a dozen meatballs. And what we do, we're going we're gonna to put these together like so. I've got some meatballs that I cooked earlier. I'm going to show you how, uh, since we are working on a budget to stretch things, um, we've got this minute rice. It, it cooks in one minute. And we can make these meatballs into two or three different meals. And one of the things I've done here is I've, I went ahead and I uh, cooked the rice. So if you're in a hurry and you want something really quick, you can just uh, whip up this um, rice and meatballs, and that's one dish right there. Also game day, you know, it's tail tailgating season as we know, and I've got these little sliders, so you can just have a meatball slider with some uh, smoking hot sauce, and that's how that rolls. You can do another one, let's see right here. And this is so easy. This is what this whole Ingalls Table magazine is all about, is making things easier on a budget and to create different meals. So we got one more to do here. And there you have it. You could also use these meatballs uh, in a salad. I also garnish this with, if you want a little pop of color here, you can uh, garnish your uh, rice and meatballs like so, and that makes it prettier. So that's how you create a lot of different meals with just one recipe, and you can find that in the Ingalls table. So you know it's Halloween, it's trick or treat. I'm gonna treat you guys today. So I've already made a cake for you guys, and one way, easy way to do this is just go in and get, a, a, this is a special edition, it's a spice cake. It, it's so easy to make, you get one uh, cup of water, uh, half a cup of, uh, of Wesson oil and then uh, three eggs and it cooks for about 24 minutes and see I didn't really decorate it on this one you just I've just got some candy corn and put in there and it makes it very festive but if you wanted to decorate one 
I've got one right here and you can get some cream cheese frosting and this is what we'll do. I'll show you how to do this. Just open this up like so and this is a great activity for kids and I'm not going to frost the whole thing. I'm just going to frost the top of it. This was a great, wonderful idea that I saw and I thought it would be fun to share with you. These are my spider eggs and look how adorable they are. What a fun and creative way to spend time with your kids. And it's very healthy as well. One last thing, you can go and pick up something really, really quick to put together and that's these cherry tomatoes, mango fire cheese, my sweet and fire pickles, and some uh, salami. And that's so easy, anyone can do it. So make it a great season, make it a great fall season, Halloween, tailgating, whatever you're doing, get out and have some fun. And we'll be right back. Did you know Ingalls only sells USDA choice and prime cuts of meat? Maybe it's time to reward yourself. Our butchers cut all our meat fresh in the store every day. Grass-fed, organic, you name it. Not only that, we'll even cut it to order just the way you like it. And we grind meat fresh in the store multiple times a day. It's all in the bag. That's the best meat in town for the best folks in town. Ingalls, low prices, love the savings. Welcome back to Field of Fork, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce Katie Deal. She is the real deal, <laughs> as her father was, our governor, Nathan Deal, and I really love working on his campaign, but we're talking about you today, yeah, Katie, yeah. and I love showcasing entrepreneurs, young artists that are in our community, Habersham County. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I'm so excited to be here. And what a beautiful place. I've never been up this way before. So well, I've been here for so long and I never came up this, this direction. Well, Katie, we do live in one of the most beautiful places, Habersham County. And, yeah. you know, uh, your father did so much for the state of Georgia. Thank you, Nathan. Yes. I mean that because that's, uh, you know, I could never have asked for a better man to be governor mm -hmm. of Georgia. Well, I could have never asked for a better dad. So that's right. That's right. I'm proud so, of him. Yeah, you're local and you you tell the audience, let's get started with your interview and, sure. and what you are doing with your life and how exciting it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I was born into a political family, so there was no, uh, no escaping the limelight. So I chose the limelight that fit me best, and it's uh, country music. So I travel all over. I, I work at Piedmont University, which is my alma mater, um, ever since January 2020. Mine and, too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> both of us alumni. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I work as the alumni director there, but um, on the weekends and whenever I can, I take gigs all over the country like I have done for the last 20 years. Ugh, 20 years. <laughs> I, I, well, I, we were at the Methodist Church uh, two weeks ago, uh -huh. and I had the pleasure of enjoying one of your concerts <laughs> it was fun i did a, a patsy klein show uh, at the clark and just you church. just right now just can you sing sure. just crazy i'm crazy for feeling so lonely Wow. See, I get chill bumps. <laughs> I do. I do. Because you, your, your whole voice is just like hers. And you dress like her. We'll have some pictures as we're talking to yeah. show the audience how you look. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's amazing. You're, you're, you look just just like thank her. Thank you, thank you. You sound just like thank her. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I started out in theater and ended up in country music, which is hilarious because uh, mm. I was, yeah, I ran from country music my whole life growing up, growing up in Hall County um, and uh, in North Gainesville. And um, actually, to be technical, Claremont, for the folks around mm -hmm. here that know where Claremont is, right. that's where I grew up. And, um, not too far away. Nope, not far. Mm -hmm. And But I spent a lot of time up here in Habersham County. I had friends uh, that went to Habersham Central. And um, so I, I spent a lot of time up in this area. 
and um, I, I didn't want to sing country music. I wanted to be cooler than that. And uh, well, my one mom. Of your, one of your biggest fans was your mother. Yes. And, and I, your mother has just recently passed. I'm did. so mm -hmm. sorry about Thank that. You. I lost my mom about a year ago, too. But what a, what a great uh, legacy. Yes. Yeah. And, and music was very special to both of us. That was uh, one of our biggest bonds. And um, she introduced me to Pasty Klein originally as a, as a little girl. Mm -hmm. And um, so, because my mother sounded like Patsy Cline when she would sing, she was an alto. Oh, really? And she, oh, she she sounded like her. And the weirdest thing is, my mother also mm -hmm. had rheumat uh, rheumatic fever when she was a baby, when she was little. Um, and Patsy Cline had rheumatic fever. So who knows if that's what happened that with voice. her voice? <laughs> it, because that's what Patsy's story mm -hmm. is: is that her voice changed when she got rheumatic fever. And so I don't know. I think it's interesting. Um, but that was always our bond, mine, mine and my mom's. And and the outfit you're talking about that I wear a lot it's the red cowgirl outfit my mama helped me make it um, how about that and it's, uh, yeah so it's special i me. know she's smiling down from heaven yeah. and, and watching you just glow and become that uh, i feel her with me on stage and and, yeah. and you know your your passion comes through your voice oh, everything you. about it you radiate the the whole uh song everything i was just uh <laughs> I was taken back. Thank you. And at the, at the church, I got to play yeah. with my uncle, which is my my mom's brother, and um, and he he was a little out of his. You know what? Zone, I thought it was your dad's brother. No, oh, wow. no, my dad's an only child. Okay. Um, so my my mother has three siblings, and uh, they're all musicians. And um, she was a singer growing up, and my parents actually met at church choir. They oh, I knew sang. that. Yeah. I did know that, mm -hmm. and I know the story. Yeah, yeah. I, I did know that part of it. In Sandersville. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I think they were actually in Macon, Macon when they met. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but he was from Sandersville. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And um, Yeah, so I, music comes so naturally to me, and it was such a part of our growing up. And, um, and you know, I, I ran from the country music thing until I got into theater, and, and there was an opportunity to do a Patsy Cline show. And I was like, oh. Well, I know Patsy Klein stuff. I, I sing that. And it launched my career. And for 20 years I did, well, for 15 or so years, I did theater, mostly singing country music. Wow. And, um, and then I started doing my own concerts uh, about 10 years ago and kind of blended the two. So. Well, speaking of such, yeah. you have concerts coming up. Tell the audience where you're going to be uh, playing. Okay, well, best way to find information, because I'm going to probably mess the dates up, uh, is katydeal.com and you can mm -hmm. go to tour there's a tab at the top that says tour or you can just do katydeal.com slash tour and find out my show dates and I'm always adding them we're actually mm -hmm. in the middle of booking right now mm -hmm. um, but I do have some local shows coming up I've got one at uh, the closest one is Tacoa at the Ritz Theater and that's on December 17th oh and, nice yeah. right before Christmas yep. nice. and it is the women of country music but it is I'm calling it silver bells because it's a mm -hmm. Christmas show so oh, nice. we're doing some Brenda Lee. Patsy Cline never recorded a Christmas album, but she did, uh, they did in the movie Sweet Dreams, they did Blue, uh, Blue uh, Christmas, the Elvis right, tune. Right, right. Um, so I'm going to be doing some of those that I think she should have sung. Oh, um, awesome. So it's going to be a lot of fun. That's something to look forward to and get yeah. in the holiday spirit. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be playing mm -hmm. Roswell uh, over the holidays. Um, the Roswell Cultural Arts Center. I'm going to be playing uh, the Dallas Theater in Dallas, Georgia. And also, um, I've got one other, Dahlonega. I've got two shows on uh, the Saturday, uh, I think it's November 26th, the, awesome. uh, the, the Thanksgiving weekend. So also for private parties, they can hire you, yeah, call you. Can you. Email me, katydeal.com is okay. where you can find me. There's a little thing to contact me. And mm -hmm. if you want a big show, you can contact my agent. If you want something specific that I, I work with a guy in Chicago and he's got shows that I do with him. You can contact him or you can just email me. Well, Katie, I am so excited. Or email Abby. I, well, I, I'm so excited for you. And we're going to close out with one of her uh, songs uh, at the end of the show. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank and you. I wish you the most success. Aww, and I appreciate it. We'll be right back. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to be a woman Giving all your love to just one man You'll have bad times And he'll have good times Doing 
things that you don't understand But if you love him you forgive him Even though he's hard to understand Just a man Thank you so much for joining us here today, Field of Fort. We'd like to thank our guests, Melissa Levels uh, from Ingalls Markets, Katie Deal with Real Deal Country. And remember, have a great fall, get outside, do something fun, and don't forget to pick up the free copy of the new edition of the Ingalls Table Magazine. And we will see you next time. Have a great fall season. Thanks so much for joining us for today's program. We look forward to having you back next time on Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. This program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table.